Hello students, welcome to biology class. This video is in continuity with the previous video of chapter Reproductive System. The objectives of this video are Fertilization Capacitation of sperm Physiochemical events during fertilization Starting with the fertilization Fertilization involves the fusion of the sperm nucleus and the egg nucleus and restores the deployed number of chromosome. The fertilized ovum formed is called zygote. In human beings, the fertilization is internal and occurs high up in the fallopian tube. During insemination, millions of sperms, about 200 to 400 millions, are deposited in the vagina but only one out of it fertilizes the ovum. The motile sperm swim rapidly through the cervix, enter into the uterus and finally reaches the junction of the isthmus and ampulla, also known as ampullary isthmic junction of the fallopian tube. Ovum released by the ovary is also transported to the ampullary isthmic junction where fertilization takes place. Fertilization can only occur if the ovum and sperm are transported simultaneously to the ampullary isthmic junction. Moving on to the next topic that is capacitation of sperm. Sperms remain fertile only about 12 to 24 hours in the female reproductive tract. Vagina triggers the motility of sperms. This is aided further by muscular contraction of the walls of the uterus and oviducts. Viscous liquid secretions from the secretory cells of the oviduct mucus further increase the sperm motility. A sperm undergoes number of changes called capacitation in order to fertilize the ovum. This involves the changes in the membrane covering the acrosome. Female reproductive tract is strongly acidic. Very few number of sperm can reach the egg. Though only one sperm fuses with the egg, secretions from thousands of sperms are required to dissolve the corona radiator region surrounding the egg. The fertilization process involves three major steps. First one, penetration of the sperm into ovum. Second one, activation of the ovum. And third, fusion of the sperm and egg nucleus. One by one, now we are discussing the complete process. Now the physiochemical events during fertilization involves three steps. Now that we are discussing the first step that is penetration of the sperm into the ovum. As the sperm reaches the ovum, it brings about sequence of events described below. First, breaking of membrane covering the acrosomal region of the sperm. Release of chemical substances or enzyme called sperm lysins from the acrosome. Sperm lysins contain a number of chemicals. First one, hyaluronidase, an enzyme that acts and dissolves the ground substance that bind follicle cells of ovum together and form corona radiator. Next, corona penetrating enzymes that dissolves Corona radiator region. The third one, acrosin, an enzyme that helps to digest the zona pellucida region. In this image, we can see capacitation. Capacitation is the functional maturation of the spermatozoa. The changes take place while the sperm cell membrane in which it may be that receptors are made available to the removal of a glycoprotein layer. The area of the acrosomal cap is also altered thereby that the acrosomal reaction become possible. Through the membrane alteration, 
the motile properties of the spermatozoa also changes. Capacitation is the changes that lead to hyperactivity of the spermatozoa and which later allow the spermatozoa to go through the acrosomal reaction. The third one is fertilin. Fertilin protein present on sperm surface act as egg recognition protein to recognize gametes of same species. As sperms come in contact with zona pellucida, the acrosome turns inside out and release chemicals that dissolves the vitelline and the plasma membrane of the egg at the point of contact. The fifth point is entry of sperm in the egg cytoplasm. Then the entry of more sperm is prevented by chemical changes on the surface of the egg. Zona pellucida along with the vitelline membrane thickens and separates from the plasma membrane. It ensures fertilization of egg with only one sperm called monospermy. A number of physical and chemical events take place in response to egg sperm fusion. First, the egg becomes activated and depolarized of its membrane occur. Second, the egg show cortical reaction. Now, what are cortical reactions? Cortical reactions are in which the enzyme-rich cortical granules located just below the egg membrane fuses with the membrane and release their contents into the space between the egg membrane and the vitelline membrane. The hardened vitelline membrane, now called fertilization membrane, serve as a barrier for the entry of the other sperms. The space between the fertilization membrane and the plasma membrane is called perivitelline space. This reaction makes the egg impervious to any second sperm and prevent polyspermy, that is, entry of more than one sperm into the ovum. Now, after the penetration of the sperm into the ovum, the next step is activation of the ovum. As the sperm enters the ovum, it gets activated and undergoes a second meiotic division. As a result of this, the secondary oocyte produces haploid ovum and a polar body. The polar body ultimately degenerate and ovum contains haploid number of chromosomes. In this image, we can see the complete process of fertilization. After a sperm comes in contact with the outer layers of an egg cell, the acrosome, which is prominence at the anterior tip of the spermatozoa, undergoes a series of well-defined structural changes that opens a path for the sperm nucleus. Next is fusion of the sperm an egg nucleus. Fusion of the sperm pronucleus and the egg pronucleus restores the diploid number of chromosome. The single diploid cell formed is called zygote. It contains both the paternal and the maternal chromosomes. It is the beginning cell of a new multicellular individual. Immediately, after fertilization, the zygote undergoes the first meiotic division or the cleavage division. Now, the process of fertilization is complete. Thank you so much.